you know, my kids are going to be beautiful. Their skin will be the color of the rock and dirt beneath our feet right now. Their eyes will be like little furled fists holding two gems like two kisses. Their cheeks will get chubbier when they smile like this. <laughs> they will twirl like this. My children will marry someone that they adore, and someone that they adore will love them. Yes. My children will sit on my lap, hyper and bony. My children will follow me to the store when I run errands for them. They will follow me wherever I go, and when I turn around, they will get grabbed at airports and at borders by men and lock them in cages by men who think them dogs and nothing more. I have a friend who refuses to have a kid because she doesn't want it to grow up in this world. Not after the racist stuff she went through in high school. I told her I feel you, girl. I really do. I really do, but screw that. I want to have a child just to watch her fight. Fight the double helix handcuffs that crucify her to a floor of self-loathing and self-conscious. I want to watch her fight the amino acid prison bars that keep her trapped in her own anxiety and misplaced mistake. And I will watch her strain her neck on a chromosome noose every time someone else tries to teach her what being brown in America is supposed to feel like. I want to have a child just so he can see how cold a stranger's stare can be. How scars will shape the smile on his face and how tender his fist really is. I want to have a child just so I can see what she tries to fill her empty with. Which laugh she chooses to keep when she finds that her lips bleed more than their kids. I want to have a child just so I can tell him that I lost my job again. I want to have a child just so I can hear what her darker poems have to say. I want to have a child just so I can watch her eat lunch by herself in her high school bathroom. I want to have a child just so I can watch him get kicked in the back by two rednecks after school for looking too much like an Arab. I want to have a child just so I can show them that he will be loved always, have a father always, have a kiss on his cheek always after having a crappy ass week of fighting the world I forced him to feel against. I want to have a child just so I can teach her every bad word there is so that she can cuss the crap out of any man that dare misunderstand her. I want to have a child. My children will be born beautiful. I want to have a child just so I can watch them grow while the world watches them like they're waiting for them to steal something. They will pool their money together to bomb my children. They will drag my children through the streets until their dirt-colored skin changes its color, and they will hurl insults at them the whole time while they do it. They'll hang my children high until they have bled all the blood that I have given him, them. They will change. They will hang my children high. Eyes nailed shut. Wrists open wide. Head tilted towards me. Praying, fighting for sin to die with them as beautiful as they came.
A priest once found me in the street, both lips bloody. I told him I fight every day. He begged to baptize me. I told him that I stewed in the waters of my mother's womb, waters blessed by a thousand prayers. She whispered to me to keep herself from crying too loudly, cradled head first into trembling waters, anointed by every circle her fingers traced around her navel as I kicked for her. I have already been baptized. He commanded that I be born again in God's womb. Every time my eyes have collapsed shut, pray for a wound and rub my forehead and hand me to a new world, I was born. I was born being dragged from a roof by the ankles, screaming at God, force-fed vodka and bony. The first memory I ever have is of my father yelling at my mother, lashing, lashing his leather expletives against her skin and her and I running. I was born begging my father to leave again. Teach me how to use soap and never use your hands again. I was born in Corona bottle shrapnel yellow burying face into face and birds. Birth is burying face into dirt. Is the moment courage finds your teeth to flip you over to the sun until your chest remembers what life is again. I was born swollen, crying quiet into grass and sorry. When three rednecks grew tired of punching and walked away. When crying, when lying on my back alone felt like freedom. That was the day I learned my name is a sin. I was born telling my name to a girl, reading it in a sentence, and gentle. At 20 years old, that was the first hand I ever remember holding. She took me to the window and smiled at the rain and named every single drop with me like I did when I cried alone. I was born, I was born minute after a kiss. Begging my math to tell me sin is a lie. God forgot to hum away. I want to tell you birth is sprouting new limbs from cells, re-breaking the broken into something and waiting for a Messiah to come hold your hand and head and sing. I want to lie, but birth is more violent. Birth is the smell of a newly lit cigarette. A secret smoke after it, singeing your tongue, telling you forgiveness was sown into the limbs you chewed away. I was born hungry in the dark, replacing God with food stamps and shelter blankets. I was born praying to God for my brother to survive cancer again. My birth was commanded for me by a man, but my sister never got to feel what birth is. Birth is fire, exploding for a moment to light up the dark, charring your world until it dies, painting it dark again. Birth is using charcoal to paint fire onto your lungs and stoking it with your breath. Your name is fire, your sin is fire, your fight is fire. They say fire must be smothered, but I was born learning to let fire dance in circles until it becomes the sun. Woo.